Oh, we're in the desert now. Must be important. Intriguing. Intriguing. Jim, what's up, buddy? Notification. Welcome in. Listen, Judith Lanster and Nina Fenley. Those two ladies are a must. You hear me? care about the greasy middle-aged man to be honest I'm, I'm wondering about the one on the screen can you imagine arc on seal in this engine finally able to see yeah Ooh. that'd be something Stop, damn it. Stop spinning the wheels. I need to write that name down though. Nina Henley. The guys you can hire any old schmucks for. Just do what it takes to get those two on board. But, 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 sir, you're talking about two of the biggest stars in the business. There's no way we could book one of them, let alone both. You can and you will. You're a pro, aren't you? Yeah, act like one. Screw the budget and set the schedule on fire if you have to. As long as we've got Judith and Nina, we can sort it all out later. Like, screw the budget. Screw the budget. Just, just get them. We'll deal with paying them later. <laughs> I saw this guy and my first thought was it was Neo with more hair. <laughs> Pickle, what's up, buddy? Still ahead of you, which means I can watch your streams. Nice. Anything goes awry, I'll take full responsibility. So don't it's you worry it's about definitely a thing. the shirt. <laughs> Just go out there and get it done. The, the, Neo's known for his flowery heroin shirts. Sir, I don't think a can do attitude is going to cut it for this. Well, someone's as passionate as ever. Ha <laughs> ha! Prince Shereed! Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Clearly, I brought on the right man for the job. I can already tell that this film festival of ours is going to be one for the history books. And not just the festival itself. 
The parade seems to be shaping up to be even more exciting than I imagined. <laughs> your event's in good hands, your highness. I'll make this film festival hotter than anything they ever put on in Messeldom if it's the last thing I do. People don't want pomp and circumstance. They won't touch that crap with a 10 arch pole. No, what matters in movies is entertainment. I'm talking F and V. F***ing and violence, baby. <laughs> Roger, Roger. All right, the greasy middle-aged man got my attention. Director, I believe it would be more appropriate to call it a scintillating spectacle, yes? Whoops, slip of the tongue. <laughs> yeah, gotta find that one. <laughs> Your Highness, please restrain yourself. Ah, speaking of which, my dear Najee, I don't suppose I could persuade you to take part in our humble parade, could I? Your talent is otherworldly. It'd be a waste not to put it to good use. Another benefit of older protag, they get away with that sort of... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, that it would be. What say you, Najee? If you wish, you may. My prince, if you get carried away, I won't hesitate to report you to your sister. Ah, well, that won't be necessary. It was a jest, I assure you. Isn't that so, Mr. Gotti? Now, about the other candidates. Give me a break. Just how long will those two keep up that nonsense? Gotti's popularity makes him a useful asset. But he and that prince are nearly impossible to control. Ah, well. The film festival has made it this far. Might as well use it to expand our market share and... <laughs> of all the times, why now? Enjoy the ice cream. Cardboard. I read the report on Longport. For such a complicated series of events, it was impressively digestible. Is that who I think it is? Your remote management of the situation was superb as always, Kincaid. You flatter me. Originally, I'd intended to travel there myself. Is that, is that Kilika? Unfortunately, with a certain A-rank bracer operating within Heiyue territory, such a trip became infeasible. Which led you to play your wild card in order to gain control. A wise decision. Doing so kept our sleeper agent stationed there out of trouble. I'm curious, is he another longtime friend of yours like that bracer? I describe him more as a curse I can't be rid of. Interesting. I heard he worked behind the scenes of Operation Meal Mirage as well. Speaking of Arkride solutions, can I get another update on their status? I'm curious to learn about their latest addition. As you wish. I'll have one of my subordinates deliver it to you later. On that note, I'll be taking my leave. If you'll excuse me, Chief Ruran. Of course. Keep up Kil the good Kil work. Kilika knows how to keep an appearance. Quite a talented and driven man, that one. He may be a little too eager to take matters into his own hands at times, but I can't fault a young upstart for being ambitious. Still, the question remains as to how the society is linked to both the Republic and Almada. The engine does do her a lot of favors. Dan, Dan, Dan's like, step on me. Please. Seeing as help will be arriving, perhaps it's time I reach out for a little catching up. Zin? Achoo! 
I hope you're not getting a cold. Gang's all here. Yeah, probably just a certain lady talking about me somewhere. He only, if, it, if he only knew. <laughs> Back on topic, what were you saying, Aldis? Oh, right. Just that we have more threats to keep our eyes on than just the usual suspects in the society. Namely, that group that defeated the Eisenshield unit. While they aren't part of Almada per se, the two groups seem related. Agreed. Though judging by the Almada executives that appeared in Longport, we'll have our hands full with them alone. That said, I do agree we'll need to add the group Melchior originally came from to our watch list. Not to mention all the potential interlopers from the East. All the while, the CID shows no interest in sharing information. Those guys have only gotten stingier with time. And something tells me there's more to it than wanting to save face. I have the same feeling. So for the time being, we're on our own. Not quite. We can always call in a certain Spriggan for backup. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why do you insist on relying on that criminal for help? I protest as well, Jin. I'm more inclined to send you to get information out of the CID for us. Why don't you invite your master's daughter to dinner? You were students together, as I recall. And he gets choked up. I'm sure you two have a lot to talk about. Have mercy on me. <laughs> Man, you used to be such a softy. How'd you get so tough? I owe it to years of training. By the way, my suggestion just now wasn't a joke. You are well acquainted with her. She once worked for the guild, and she has the former president's confidence, too. We'd get a lot more out of her than my old friend at the CID. You do have a point. Hmm. You mean the flying swallow, right? B? Oh! Ah, you made it. Cat's back. Has it already been a year? And did you get taller? Cat's back. Somehow, yeah. I think I'm done growing, though. You're that ace bracer from the Empire, right? Her hair's gotten longer. I suppose. The name is B. Clausel. Now sounding 50% more like Morgana. <laughs> Starting today, I'll be working with you all here in Calvert. Cat's back. Can Can I have her in my party so I can use her as an evade tank? <laughs> Pleasure in delirium. This game of cat and mouse is over. P please wait. I can get the money. Just give me three days. No, one day is enough. I'm done giving extensions. I've been chasing you around like a damn fool, but this is the end of the line. Pay up right now or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. Eek. Okay, that's enough of that. Good job being intimidating and all, but it's way too early for all this damn noise. Who the hell are you? Scram, this is none of your business. That's where you're wrong. Pay up right now or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. Oh, nice. I got a clear shot of your face too. Look, dude, I get you're a lone shark, but aren't death threats pushing it a bit? Oh, wait. Are you? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not saying you should let your debtor off the hook, though. How about you lower his interest rate closer to what the big three banks give? What? Don't mess with me, kid. Why can't I move? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. What'll it be? Fine. We'll give him a fair rate. Job's done. 
Now pay this guy already so we can be done with this. Uh, can you just use that video and make him forgive all my debt? This isn't a charity, man. If I have to be the mediator, then I'm not playing favorites. You get me? Uh, I get you. I'll pay him right away. That's a wrap. What do you think? Thought you'd screwed it up like three times there. You really did great, though. Mission accomplished, as far as I can tell. I wish it could have been solved without intimidation, but I'm at least glad both sides came to an agreement. Did you ever have to handle situations like this in Longport, by any chance? Sure did. Shit like this happens everywhere. Only difference is that the crooks in Longport play it safer because they don't want the hammer of Heiyue coming down on them. Interesting. Hammer. I'm not sure how to respond to that. So what's the verdict, Chief? Did I pass the test? <sighs> Kills me a little to say this, but you did good. But I've got my eye on you. Botch a job, I'll kick your ass to the curb. You hear? Please, have a little faith in me. I'll be taking care of your old ass and the girls before you know it. <laughs> Heads up, though. I'm a heartbreaker, so don't go falling in love with me. <laughs> uh, he's serious, isn't he? That last comment aside, welcome to the team. Don't worry, I'm not interested in you at all. But I am looking forward to improving your fighting skills. Your form is a little too loose. You talk a big game, small fry. My name's actually Farida. Oh, but I also go by Fairy if you like that. Eh, I'll call you whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Le leave it to Aaron. <laughs> this guy. A a a a Aaron is going to be the Randy for giving nicknames. <laughs> I think the office is going to be quite a bit livelier from here on. You're telling me. Uh, what happened to my rough and tumble lone wolf image? Uh... When you're not around sweet. Can you at least pretend I'm a little cool? Oh, <laughs> I never thought otherwise. <laughs> anyway, it's almost 10. May as well head back to the office for now. Works for me. We can swing by Monmar for an early lunch. The food's good and all, but I need me some more of that hot piece of a waitress. Please don't bother, Paulette. Though I will agree <laughs> that the food is delicious. The cream stew we had last night was delicious. Guys, she does have the malt, right? So, you want to go out for a drink or two tonight, Paulette? Definitely Calvert's Randy. <laughs> you really shouldn't tease your elders, Aaron. Hey, you leave mommy alone. <laughs> you tell him, Yumes. <laughs> this breath's something else. I kind of feel like she's just brushing him off, though. <laughs> Rejected. I'm so used to it. <laughs> I think Aaron has Randy beat by a good margin. Probably. You can post that image now. I'll, I'll look at it after. Yeah, because we've got more people now. I'm obviously going to be the one, one of the ones working outside, but I'm going to have one of you come with me too. The remaining two will either be standing by here in the office or gathering information and looking into se things separately. And if we get a job that needs more manpower, like say a monster extermination gig, we regroup for it. Sounds good. I don't want to go around all buddy buddy with everyone all the time either. It's not a very nice thing to say, though that does sound pretty efficient to me, too. We don't have any subcontracted work right now, so, but that could change any second. Either way, the main team's focus is going to be patrolling districts where it feels like something might happen while watching the Force Brigands. 
or something might happen. Can you really tell that? Makes sense to me. After you've lived in a place long enough to know it, like your own backyard, you just know when something smells off. Really? Hmm. There's always stuff you're gonna miss if you don't go looking around. So that's what we're gonna do. Life's full of surprises, especially in a field like this. So that's why we need to split up and be flexible. I'll have to work very hard not to be the one holding the team back. There's no need to think that hard about it. Other than the fact we're splitting up, everything else is going to be the same as it always was. Anyways, looks like it's noon already. Well, let's get to work. Now it's my turn to see what you guys can do. Select one additional member to accompany Van. They can be swapped out later. From your office desk, change card, ch select change party to select the character you want to join. Gotcha. I understand. normal and not at all weirdo phantom thief definitely definitely oh hold on before before we is it here oh it's not here there's supposed to be a cat on the roof. There's always a cat on the roof. Cat. Yeah, the cat moves. He's up to something. More candy again. Come back soon. <sighs> uh, Tharbad Film Festival to open on schedule. Elaine solves string of homicides in Dazzling City. Sources have revealed that Bracer Elaine Eclair was instrumental in resolving the string of brutal homicides in Longport last month. Miss Eclair was reportedly visiting Longport on business during the incident in which 10 youths were found dead on, in the eastern and harbor districts of the city. Officials were unable to release details on the perpetrators at this time, but stated that they were moving toward a swift resolution for the incident. Much of the circumstances surrounding what happened remain shrouded in mystery, but the fears of local residents seem to have been calmed. Interviews with the local law enforcement and the local branch of the Bracer Guild confirmed that Mr. Claire was a huge help in apprehending the suspects and gathering information vital to solving this mysterious crime. Mr. Hazel, a representative of Edith's Bracer branch, the branch which Miss Claire hails from, 
avoided discussing any specifics of the incident on her participation in it. Speaking briefly to reporters, Claire avoided revealing any details of the incident was in her interview, instead leaving only the words, I wasn't the one who cracked the case, with a regretful look on her face. We did have one of our reporters in that area at the time, but she was on the trail of another article at the time, and this, coupled with the conflicting reports she received of the incident, meant our initial coverage was severely hampered. We'll take this as a lesson and use it to improve our coverage in areas around the capital to ensure we're always bringing you the best and most up-to-date reports possible. Darth Taco, what's up, buddy? How are you? Lucian, welcome in. We're doing fantastic. The Fancy Brothers still at large. Dastardly Duo wanted for acts of fraud, extortion, and robbery. Duo wanted acts of fraud. Blah, 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 blah. Studying their victims carefully before enacting a con tailored to each victim to extract them from their money. Long Lie Edition. Long Lie is a hot spring paradise nestled in the quiet basin between two mountain ranges of the eastern tip of the Republic. Have you ever had a chance to visit and experience it? The Eastern Wabi Sabi experience of Long Lai is quite different from that of Longport. From the relaxing hot springs to the unique Eastern culture that finds solace in tranquility and the pl plenty of reasons for you to visit. It's one of Calvert's hot spots you shouldn't deprive yourself of seeing at least once. Last but not least, due to Long Lai being enlightening from a cultural standpoint, exploring the differences between Longport and Long Lai can give a unique experience of the depth and diversity of Eastern culture. There are, far uh, there are just far too many other draws to count, from the beauty of nature seen through the majestic waterfalls and wondrous mountain views that change with the seasons to absolutely scrumptious cuisine that makes full use of Long Lai's unique climate. If you're tired of the daily grind, why not make a stop in Long Lai? Take a nice soak in its hot springs and let its unique Eastern culture soothe your mind and spirits. Speaking of hot springs. I appreciate you always stopping by. <sighs> That's the stuff. <laughs> I feel good as new. You look nice and refreshed. Getting called out for getting distracted and distracted the paper we, we work for. Yeah, exactly. Right. Boulder Gate Street Physical finally came in. Dang, that took a while. Only that reporter didn't have someone constantly throwing her off track. I mean, you know, we, we had to do what we had to do, I guess. Yeah, I was like, we we know we known about the whole uh Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. The whole long live uh hot springs from from Marines beyond the reverie uh daydream. It was uh, that was fantastic. It's a face of contentment right there. Oh, it definitely is. Check this out. This is the frame I mentioned earlier. I got to cast it myself at the workshop. Tough as nails and perfectly modular. Just the way I like it. Oh, right. I also got some spare parts here. A gift? <laughs> Thanks. You've really taken to this stuff, Ki uh, Kaina? Can I really take this, though? Of course. If anything, I'd love for you to critique it. I want to learn how I can make my stuff even better. It can be anything. Shape, strength, whatever. Uh, I insist. Just let me read a little from the, that encyclopedia of yours. Come on, give me a chance. Whoa, whoa, I'm not really good with that sort of teaching stuff. Uh, what? Van? When did you get here? Oh, you're the guys who saved the village. 
Thank you so much for what you did, truly. You're from Cray Village, right? Long time no see. I'm from Old Town myself. Didn't realize you two knew each other. Thank you for all your help at the village, kinda. It's nice to bump into each other again. So, so it's, um, uh, yeah, just good friends with Kinda's boss. I don't think they've talked in a while, though. Yep, about a half a year ago, my boss introduced us, and the rest is history. She's just a total mechanical mastermind, and she's a real role model for me, too. Not just as an engineer, but as a girl, you know. Kinda. Please, though. No. I'm getting embarrassed. Well, good to see the hermit's made a friend. Alrighty. Hermit. Hermit. Do you know what you want? I hope no, to see you really. again. Do you know what you want? Nope. I hope all. to see you again. Ask you got anything good? Really? Oh yeah. Ooh. Hi. Yes. I will take one of those. I will take one of those. Hope to um need something fixed. Bell Sorcerer, what's up, buddy? How are you? Water and time. I haven't made a single quartz yet. Only use what I found in chests and got his rewards. Nice. That that that's good though. It gives me four. I do need that one open in order to get it. like I would like arc feather instead chance of delaying follow-up shard attack when using art attack arts
There she is, the beaut. Oh, why hello? Looking is always free, you know. Come back for more anytime. You finally come home, and this is how you talk to me? No one asked you how you feel, old hag. Just give me my allowance. Huh? The hell you want, old timer? Keep your nose out of other people's business. Sir, yes, sir. Little shit could really use a good roasting, but that ain't my business. Managing courts is a little boring now that everyone's lines are nearly identical. Yeah. The only thing now is like getting the uh, getting the shard skills that you want. I hope I see you again. I'll be out of the house arrest soon. Then I gotta go to work. Perish the thought. Just thinking about it terrifies me. They didn't fire me, but my career's over. I'm back down to some subsidiary branch now. <sighs> Why's my heart beating so fast? Cat! Hmm. Doesn't look like there's any good info here. Oh no. No info. of the sky is always watching over us. Um. They weren't down there before. Oh, you may. What kind of song are you gonna sing? Mm, I wanna sing something exciting, like really fast and fun. It gives you so much energy that you can play forever. I look forward to hearing it. Me too. I'll make sure to sing it for you guys. <sighs> Now today's a special lesson class. We'll be writing our own songs today. I'd like you to think first about what kind of tone and rhythm you'd like to convey with your songs. And when you write your lyrics, I'd like you to use at least one word you've recently learned. Be it from a book, a lecture, anything of that of the sort. Without further ado, let's begin our writing. If you get stuck or need help, I'm happy to guide you. I knew Father Nikolai would be open to this idea. It gives the kids an extra dash of learning. Sans the long hours of the typical school day, they've taken it well, reading and writing especially. And most importantly, they're all excited to learn. Father Nikolai really knows how to pique their interests, their curiosities. I bet. I'm gonna write a super exciting song, one that makes everyone really happy and fun. Once it's done, I'm gonna sing it for Mommy and Grandpa. She's adorable. Absolutely adorable. It's nothing urgent, but I would greatly appreciate the help. Here's my shopping list. Oh, and if you have the chance, over at Center Marche. Affirmative. So, Centre Marche, that's, um... Going shopping? Don't get lost now. I'll be fine, trust me. I've been... I've already been here three weeks. Hang in there, fairy. I'll give it my best, too. Can't go wrong with any of them. Not really, no. Come back soon! You. Make yourself useful and keep Red over there in check. Got it? I'm teaching that brat a lesson. He talks to her. He even looks at her again. And I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah, I know. You could really stand to calm down a little, Pops. Victor looks like he's about ready to explode. Yeah, try refreshing your page. Pick something already. 
seeing you. on the list. Let's see what we've got. They call it an Orville Cafe. I can handle any maintenance. Thanks for being such a good customer. I can handle any maintenance. We're on a break. <sighs> Waiting if I should get it for Switch, PS5. Do I know how old Paulette is? Have they mentioned that before? I can't remember if they did or not. If you prefer having stuff on carts, then definitely, uh, definitely get it on the Switch then, Darth Taco. Paulette's 27. Well, that, that, that's, uh... A lot closer than I thought. to her father with Aaron in the party he mentioned her age ah okay gotcha thanks for being such a good customer I can handle anything Physical damage plus 30%, strength plus 40%, defense and arts down 25%. An illegally modified hollow core powered by a male AI decreases defense and increases attack when boosted. I like that he's more of an evasion tank with that, so okay. I'm ready to help whenever you need. Alrighty. Need help with something? No, I haven't talked to Aaron yet. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, so we have Storm. Um, aqua. such a good customer what will you have today thanks for coming oh, that's great. do you have any preferences thanks for coming in what's up blunt <sighs> it's funny I just realized that enemies not having their own boosts mean that anyone we fight has a hollow course trolling because they aren't activating its specs. Ooh. Maybe they modified it illegally and your effects are always in place though. That could be something. This place never changes. I don't know. Our stars have a wide I'm proud of all my wares. It's been a pleasure. We hope you enjoy shopping with us. Does anything catch your eye? I hope I see you again. Never in my trails. Welcome. Thank you for coming. We await your next visit. Fuck you. You got a permit, store. yeah? Yeah. Our stores have a wide variety of fine goods for sale. We hope you enjoy shopping with us. White Griff. Rapid pulser gives me more speed. Thank you for visiting the Weston Department Store. Our stores have a wide variety of fine goods for sale. We hope you enjoy shopping with us. Mira! Finally. <laughs> Thank you for visiting the Weston Department Store. I'll get more good stuff in stock soon. Our stores have a wide variety of fine goods for sale. I don't think about it. I heard that old lady I see here all the time has us. a really loaded husband. Maybe she's willing to share her knowledge with me. That way I can also get married to a rich man. Oh, poor, poor oh, Beth. Lady. Poor Beth. Let's do this. <laughs> the enemies start boosting or other way activate your hollow cores in Daybreak 2 and Kai, we will know. More than likely, yeah. Always follow your dreams. How how nice. Well, where'd you next? Alright. Got a little annoyed I could only have one party member with me here. When I noticed how many unique conversations they each have. If you talk to the NPCs first without required party members, the conversation doesn't trigger you. Oh, that's that kinda sucks. Yeah, Anton's already spoken for. Maybe maybe we'll see him eventually. Let's look, we got a first brigand. Change of heart. Oh no. I need to have something return to its rightful place and like you to help with that. I'll be waiting on the bridge in Riverside. There's still a lingering scent. Gotta check the other bulletin boards. 
he has he has like uh he has the scent like but he has the tingle oh there's yeah well, I, I forgot there's free time bad. stuff too what are you in the mood for mm hmm hmm oh you if it is my darling van it's wonderful seeing you too on yes getting used to the job i hope i am yes she's still only working for me part-time mind you look at you putting up the customer service face i don't see that every day someone leave you a bad review or something i can't go on and get rusty here need to crack out the the customer service skills every now and then you know hmm i wonder what's going on i wonder too Arkride Solutions is getting livelier by the day. No job you won't be able to solve if you keep this hiring spree going on. Shut it. I don't even want to think about what you're take about taking on more staff. I've been in a lot of streams because of spoilers, but have been to Altair. That we glimpsed in the Azure? Uh, not yet, no. Make sure there's no cats there asking you to find someone treasure. <laughs> but. Yeah, yeah, it. When his voice is called SPG, eh, I just, it, it forced Bergens. Yeah, can you imagine if you got to do taxes by the end of the game? Like, uh. Please step on up. Welcome. Thank you for coming. We await your next hmm. visit. It needs to be like a poof. Show business in sober curious. How about some nice cold ice? Hello. Hello. Thanks for shopping. Hey, did you see? There's a new movie. Hmm. A lost lover. <laughs> My boyfriend has been missing for nearly a month now. Could you help me look for him? I'll be waiting at the rest area next to Brother's Music Shop. Scent's still not gone. I'll check the next board. Uh, but first. If you have a ticket, please proceed Hello. to the entrance. Hello. A peony blade or we golden blood? Go with the peony blade. Why not buy a souvenir to remember your visit? And. Van decided to let everyone loose so he could watch a movie during his work break. After inviting some company to tag along with him, they made their way to the theater. Shi Sen is a handsome young man whose talent is in the arts in the sword arts is unrivaled. His unyielding sense of justice has driven him to conquer many an evil foe. Thanks to his skill with the sword and his elegant charms, he earned the title, the Peony Blade. As time passes, fate begins to weave its tangled web. Shi Sen crosses blades with Tengai, a leader of a gang of bandits, a scoundrel who inflicts unspeakable cruelty on innocent villagers and a murderer who killed she sends father <laughs> not half bad kid you're the spitting image of your old man you've even got those same fearless eyes i remember them glaring up at me before i closed them for good that's enough 
I'm going to end this battle in one stroke. With this! <laughs> Your pups used that move against me, and it didn't leave its mark. History's just gonna repeat itself. That's where you're wrong. I've refined my father's ultimate technique and taken it to heights he could have only dreamed of. Taste our might, the might of two generations of masters. Fine Dragon Helix! The main character reminds me of Aaron in a lot of ways. He cares about his friends, he has a strong sense of justice, and he knows his way around a fight, not to mention how people gave him a nickname. Apparently in Eastern cultures, peonies are considered to be the finest of all flowers. I feel like that adds a fun extra layer to it. Somebody's done her homework. Good for you. Yeah, comparing pretty looking men to flowers is definitely a thing they do in the East. Now I can't help but wonder what kind of flower you're most like, Van. You don't have to think too deep on that, really. That last one-on-one -on -one fight was pretty well done. At least, well done for a couple of film actors. Well, if you thought it was all right, they must have, they must have done a hell, of, a hell of a decent job. I bet you could act in a movie. Sure got the looks and talents to make it work. Actually, I did get an offer to work on a film one, one time. Didn't really sound like my jam, though, so I turned it down. Wouldn't have me doing completely vanilla stuff, which wasn't exciting to me. That's what you said to him? Ugh. I kind of feel for the poor sap who must have been on the other end of that conversation. Hey, it looks like they're selling commemorative brochures for this movie. Maybe I should pick one up as a souvenir. Hmm. Having finished their break, Van and his crew resumed their work. Mm. If you have a ticket, please proceed to the entrance. Hey, did you How see? about some popcorn, huh? Hey there, what'll it be? See ya. Discover the inebriating world of show business in Sober Curious. <laughs> Time to buy everything. Not yet. Soon, but not yet. Thanks for stopping by. What'll you have today? Thanks for coming. Mm, this tastes great. Off we go. Decided to temporarily skip E7 so I can go right to E8. Good game. Nice. All right. I'm heard hunt down that good. good old bullet board. Yeah, I've heard eight is good. The tower plays are hard to get. Once again, elusive as ever, the vixen. But therein lies the values of my effort to capture its essence. Just you wait. Though fate may tear us apart for now, weep not for me today, for I shall return in time to tame you. That is, that is a lovely picture of the void. Lovely picture of the void. And Pop, what's good? Hope you're well. Kind of missed the books. Yeah. Although I do, I do like the whole movie thing. See what we've got. You might stare back, it might. QA testing. I'm currently developing a full body experience mystery game and would love for you and yours to participate as testers. If you solve all the puzzles and review the experience, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Got a sense gone. Means all the boards have been checked. That means we have a total of three tasks to take care of today. We gotta to take care of at least two jobs today. Oh, this job looks interesting. They want us to test some kind of mystery solving game. And can't I get a normal request for once? 
Why the hell do they need a spriggan for it? The full body part does have me curious, though. It sounds like fun. I mean, fair. Guess it wouldn't hurt to at least read the pamphlet they gave us. Let's see here. Princess in peril saves the kingdom's fair. Save the kingdom's fair maiden. The hell. The kingdom of Edith is in chaos for its fair princess has been kidnapped. Edith calls upon you, O oh gallant knight, to save her from those villains. Collect the three keys and free the princess from her hidden prison. Wow. <laughs> they really went all in on the setup. We're citizens of the kingdom of Edith. Off to rescue our princess. Sounds like kind of fun. Eh, sounds harmless enough. Oh, I think this card here is our first clue. The first key lies hidden within the Satan district. Seek the mistress Taylor on the cutting edge of fashion. Well, that's pretty specific. Helps us narrow it down. Guess if we ain't got anything better to do, we can give this a look. Time to start working. All right. To-do list. So we'll do this one first. We'll do this one first. Love either a remaster or straight up remake of five since it never got released outside of Japan. I, I hope they announce five. I need to get back and I need to get into some more East games. Taking off now. Oh, definitely. I was talking about that earlier, M Pop. I was like, once the series finishes, I would I would love to play the game in order, maybe even in chronological order. Just to just to experience it once. Some weird invisible walls in this area. Collision of some pillars seem to extend past the walkway above them. I'm I'm gonna make the assumption that they're gonna they're gonna patch this stuff eventually. Yeah, going, that's exactly what it is, Lucian. Going back and forth between Crossbow and Cold Steel 1, 2. Hey there, old man. You Bruno? Who are you? A Spriggan looking for work. I'm with Arkride Solutions. Mind if we talk about the job? The job's exactly as I was described in the posting. I'm getting old, so I figured it was about time for me to sort things out before I pass on. I want you to get this thing back to its proper owner. Bruno drew an item out of his pocket. A locket? This photo, this isn't yours, right? That's right. This locket belongs to a stranger. I used to make my living as a thief long ago. I stole this. Just to be clear, I don't do that anymore. Life's taken its turns for me. I've actually heard about you, Bruno. You were a pretty famous thief. Rumor has it no lock had been invented you couldn't break into. Though all the legends are from when you were young, so everyone thought you'd have given it up. I guess the rumor was true. Oh, you know me. You could have said so before I bothered explaining then. But whatever. It's been 20 years since I stole this locket. It ain't the kind of thing you get good money out of, so I kept it with me instead of selling it. After hearing some rumors about you, Spriggan, I figured it'd be better to see if you could return it for me before I just pitch it in the trash. So, how about it? Will you take the job? Sure. I believe you can do it, Cardboard. I believe. All the callbacks they're doing in this game shows these games are very interconnected. Yeah, I love the callbacks. I went to finish 7, 8 before 10. 9 was my first East. Nice. Is it possible for Falcom to make a bad side quest? I've not found one. They they do a lot of repeated stuff. Yes, and the ho yeah, the hotel quest in, in SC. Fuck that quest.
sure, we'll take the job. Obvious question, but do you know where the owner is? I want you to return the locket to the boy in the photograph. Of course, it's been 20 years, so I'm sure he's that much older by now. I suppose he would be in his late 20s by now. Would you happen to know where he is now? How should I know? Finding that out is your job. Can't even throw me a bone here. I stole it when I was hitting the Maserati Hotel's guest room over in Sidon. It was quite the event at the time, from what I hear. The hotel staff might know more about it, so try asking them. We should find a member of the hotel staff who might know about the events that took place then. I assume you can handle it from there. Let me know once you've returned it. I'll send over your payment then. There he goes. I guess our next stop is the hotel and sit at Side Inn. Let's go, let's go look into this. Yes. Time to start working. But Jeff was so skillful with that quest, answering all the questions correctly. Fuck that hotel quest. It took up like three quarters of the stream. Taking off now. Yeah, there's the, just a little bit of bitterness there. Just a little bit. All right, let's talk to you. You got a lot of guts slacking off on the clock, bud. Oh, get off my back. I'll be done with my work by the time you get back. Oh, right. Almost forgot. I hit 20 the other day, so don't toss that booze in the fridge out, right? I'll help myself. Well, works for me. You're an adult. Maybe you could ask the old man to throw a little something for you. Nah, I shot the shit over the net with my buddies back home. That was a good time. Food here's pretty good, though. Maybe I'll bug the old man for a dinner. I don't know how to budget my time. I'll have this stuff done by EOD. Promise. Oh, that reminds me. Those cans I put in the fridge should be cold by now. Save it for when you're off the clock. Can't work for shit when you're drunk. Fine, fine. Jeez. <clears throat> Law 3, Grey 2, Chaos 1. Not bad. Alright. Here's the Maserati. 20 years ago, Bruno stole a locket from a guest staying here. Do I have that right? Let's see if we could talk to someone who was around at the time. Yeah, but we can't just walk up and ask. That'd be a bit suspicious. Best course of action would be finding an employee and sort of working our, our way around that slowly. Hmm. Hey, sorry to interrupt. We're from Arkride Solutions and we're trying to dig up some info on a case that happened here. Do you remember any instances of theft here at the hotel around 20-ish years ago? A theft, let me think. I've been working here for a while, but I don't remember hearing anything a bit, anything like that. I see. Thank you. We did have a major incident here 20 years ago, but I don't think it's what you're referring to. Oh? What happened? Ahem. <clears throat> well, I prefer to keep this on the down low, but if it helps the investigation. 20 years ago, the hotel was attacked by terrorists. I'm going to write this down. <clears throat> I don't remember the hotel quest. It's been too long for me. That hotel quest don't is something look. else. I looked. Aramis, thank you for the 88 bits. I just don't remember the hotel quest because it was too easy. Terrorist attack? I've never heard of it. 
so close to home, too. Yes, it claimed the life of Senator Taylor and his family. The staff at the time had no idea what to make of it. Some of us thought it was some sort of conspiracy. Man, the whole family just got wiped out like that. Well, we're not 100% sure. The government quickly swooped in and kept all the information under wraps. In truth, we still don't know if there were any survivors among his family. Oh, but now that I think about it, Senator Polinsky may know more about the incident. He and Taylor were colleagues, I believe. All right, thanks. I'll chat him up. So Bruno said he stole someone's locket, but could it have been something to do with the terrorist attack too? Yeah, it's got me suspicious too. But well, let's do some more digging before we jump to conclusions. So, on the topic of labor laws, can I count on you to address those if and when the Republican Party regains the majority? That's not a promise I can make so easily. The Republican Party has lost much sway in these last two years. Our policy going forward will need to wait to wait in the wings, potentially for years, and account for how much strength we have. And even if we do regain the majority, we need to focus first and foremost on strengthening our historical voter base. Not to mention, there will be years of patriot policies to potentially undo. I see. Trade laws, I imagine, or something else. You don't mean all those laws they rescinded themselves in the handover, do you? Easy, easy. I know exactly what you're hoping to get out of this alliance. The legislation is not too easily rushed. We need time, both to plan and our strategy for retaking the majority and to actually do it. Politics are all among the long term, the big picture. Our decisions always take that into account. Can we talk? Hey there, sorry to butt in. We're from Arkwright Solutions and we're digging around for some info on an incident that happened here. Mind if we pull you aside for a sec? I see. Well, yes, I don't mind. Hey, may I step away for a bit, Jennifer? Of course, I'll be here enjoying my tea. An incident, you say? What might you be referring to, and what would I know about it? It's about Senator Taylor, that incident 20 years ago. Who told you? I have my sources. I've got something to deliver to his next of kin if he's got any. Actually, just to make sure, can you confirm this guy in the photo here is Taylor? It's been an age since I've seen that face. That's him, yes. So does that mean... Bruno wasn't just committing a robbery? He was connected to the terrorist attack too? You for the hydrate? You mind filling us in on what happened that day? Well... If it would help with your investigation, I suppose I can tell you what I know. Taylor was a fellow Republican Party member. He and I were particularly close, but I respected him as a political ally. He was especially active on the subject of race relations. He had a flair for these passionate, fiery speeches in Parliament. I see. I remember reading that racial tensions were rising at the time due to increasing immigration. That lasted all the way until President Rocksmith helped quell the tensions. Yeah, but right at his highest, he got wiped out just like that. I'll never forget that night. He was staying here for a family vacation. They came into the hotel in the, in the dead of night and gunned him down in his sleep. I heard his son miraculously survived, but both he and his wife were killed. Man, I had no idea. Do you know where the kid is now? I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. But he was good friends with a man named Huck, if memory serves. He may, he may be able to help you. Last I heard, he was living in Old Town. If his address hasn't changed since then, you could find him there. A Huck living in Old Town? Could it be... Yep, 
our favorite old bathhouse flesh if i had to bet 50 mira says he's at the loyally right now ah you're acquainted good good that should make things easier best of luck with your investigation taylor's son deserves closure on that terrible terrible day did you hear about the chemist that went into the bar first first order h2o the second order h2o also verse was disappointed he assassinated his hemp is that wow <laughs> then let's head over the loyally you something hey there you folks look pretty glum what's going on we're in the middle of an investigate investigating a political a uh, politician for a job you see now I understand you've left no stone unturned eh you dug up a lot of stuff meant to st meant to stay buried anyway yes Taylor and I were good friends we debate about all sorts of things over drinks, like policies and diminish racial disparity and such. I've always wondered what this man gets up to here. Now I'm even more curious. That's because Huck manages a well-established investment firm. People like that always have connections with the top brass calling. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> That's okay. I'd rather it stay like that. I prefer how people treat me when they don't know. Back on track. This guy's son is still alive, yeah? You got any idea where he went? That I do. His name is Roderick. After the attack, I believe he went to live with some relatives in Altair. As for what he's up to these days, I have no clue. Gotcha. Back to looking for someone who does then. Actually, one more question while I got you here. Do you know what happened to the culprit? Culprits, actually, but I do. There were two of them. They went on the run after the fact, but got caught sometime later. Their testimony suggested that there had been some friction for a while. They mentioned something about an intruder letting the kid get away, and they thought someone was selling them out. From what I understand, Roderick's own recollection of what happened is pretty hazy. I'm curious about this intruder letting the kid escape. If you're right, that's nothing short of a miracle. Maybe. Oh, now that I think about it, I might know somebody who'd have an idea about Roderick's whereabouts these days. You should talk to the editor-in-chief of the Tyrell Times. She was all over that whole case back in the day. With any luck, she might still be keeping up with it. Wouldn't hurt to ask, at the very least. Good to know. Hopefully we'll save us the trouble of sniffing out info ourselves. Thanks, Huck. Oh, you won. I won't say no to gratitu gratitude. I think some milk gelato will do just fine as thanks after a long soak. Sure thing. I'll remember to hook you up with some later. I suppose our next destination is the Tyrell Times, then. Yeah, that's a bit weird, Lucian. Maybe it's a certain... Maybe it's a certain time limit after it expires. I'm gonna have well. to take note of that when I, when I do mine again. Have I played SMT Vive Vengeance yet? I have not played an SMT game yet. I have not. Off we go. It is on my list to eventually get into the games. Well, I heard. Can we talk? Hey there, Chief. I got an assignment right now. I was hoping we could talk to you about if you got a minute. Van Arkwright, we meet again. You know, any good reporter doesn't give up her scoops without good reason. I mean, what brings you here? And we'll take it from there. Oh, I think you'll be pretty interested in this one. It's got to do with a terrorism case from a couple of decades ago. I'm told you know about. 
You see? I see someone's done their homework. Definitely earning your keep on this assignment of yours, I see. All right, I'll bite. I'll tell you what I know. But in exchange, you have to promise to report back on how everything's turned out once it's over. Deal? Why, thinking of turning this into an article or something? More or less. Certainly has the makings for a story worth bringing to light. If it turns out I'm wrong, no problem. I'll keep it to myself. Works for me. You get yourself a deal. So as it happens, I'm still investigating that case, even if it's never been made public. Partly, it's to bring justice for the surviving family, but also to keep the pressure on anti-immigration groups that would be would do such a thing. Suffice it to say, I'm well aware of what Roderick's up to these days. You are? What is he doing now? Once he grew up, Roderick became a young entrepreneur, and a promising one at that. He travels around cutting business deals, but he keeps Edith as his home base. I've interviewed him on a number of occasions over the years, not just as a, as a survivor of that case, but also to discuss his business ventures. Sounds like an impressive guy. Must have inherited his dad's ambition to make a difference. I can try to call him on his mobile terminal to arrange a meeting for you if you like. I can't make any, pro any promises, but do you want me to try? Sure, I'd appreciate it. Hi, Roderick. How are you? This is the editor-in-chief Sullivan from the Tyrell Times. I wanted to ask... You're all set? Well, luckily for you, he just so happens to be nearby. He said he would wait for you later at the terrace over by the station. Awesome. That worked out perfectly then. There's more. There's something else he was hoping you two could do for him in return. He wants you to bring your client, the owner of the locket, with you when you meet him. He wants to meet Bruno? I suppose that's a perfectly reasonable thing to ask, though I don't know if he'll agree to it. Hmm. We won't know for sure until we, at, until we ask him. We'll bring it up when we give him our progress report. Fingers crossed. Good luck, Spriggan. Make sure to come talk to me once everything's over. Yeah, yeah, I will. A deal's a deal. All right, let's ring the guy up and get the show on the road. Only have SMT5 or SMT3 Nocturne, SMT Vengeance now. SMT4 planning on playing it someday. Nice. It's a real brat. Every time I run into her, she's giving her mother grief. Oh, poor grief. You know what would be hell for Jeff? The total quest with monkeys. No monkeys. No monkey. Hey, this is Van Arkride from Arkride Solutions. I wanted to ask. Great. See you then. What did he say? Didn't say much. For now, we're just linking up at the Riverside Bridge. We'll fill him in on everything once we meet him in person. Oh, okay. Well, I'm ready when you are. Oh, you meant the hotel one. Oh, yeah, no. Oof. Oof. Then let's head no over. monkeys. Will I compromise for monks? Oh. No, no monkeys. That monkey in CS2 gave me PTSD. I was hoping to hear from you, Spriggan. But I figured it wouldn't be until you returned the locket. What's this about? First off, I want to make sure we're on the same page. Let me give you a progress report on our investigation. Alright then, let's hear it. Van explained what they learned about the terrorist attack on the Maserati Hotel. Finally, they told Bruno they'd managed to get in contact with Senator Taylor's son, Roderick. Well, well, you certainly picked up the trail quick. You said you robbed the hotel, but this photo is of two of the terrorist attack victims. I thought you might have been the terrorist behind the attack, but I've changed my mind since. My guess is you just did exactly what you said, robbed the hotel. It just so happened that you were in the middle of it when the place got was hit by terrorists, yeah? Those kind of coincidences only occurred in stories. But that ridiculous scenario is exactly what happened that day. It's the only thing that seemed plausible. So the person that intervened and saved Roderick's life at the time would have been... You make it sound more honorable than it was. I wasn't out to save a kid. My mind wasn't on all the dead people at the time. 
I thought that, hey, with people dying all around me, no one would miss a thing or two. Man, aren't you a nice fella? Guess the locket's one of those missing things. Even then, Roderick still wants to meet you. Wait, what? He asked us to bring you to him when he when we hand over the locket, actually. That's ridiculous. How do you want me to face him now? Aren't you worried about him yourself, Bruno? You want to know how the child from back then is doing. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked us to give the locket back to him. If you ask me, you should stop sulking about it and talk to him. Damn it. It's not that easy. He just needs one more push. It'd be best if he was honest about being the guy that stole the locket. But if he doesn't want to, then maybe he could go under the guise of being someone else? Nah, yeah, meet him as a thief. Best to stop with the lies and just pretend, present himself as the thief. Stop making excuses and do it already. I don't know what Roderick's out to get from this meeting with you, but the worst that can happen will be you reaping what you've sown. You're right. If I'm going to go this far, I might as well have the courage to take that last step. Dev's coming with a quest, uh, coming up with a quest that involves a monkey hotel. No, no monkeys. All these questions are making me think of my gym partner as a monkey TV. Th that was a TV show. Could you guys be, we're from Arkwright Solutions. You're Roderick, I take it. That's right. I'm the only survivor of the terrorist attack you've been investigating, though I was only a kid at the time. Let me start by giving you this locket back then. Van handed the locket over to Roderick. Thank you very much. I'll be sure to treasure it. I take it you're the one that had it this whole time? Yeah, his name's Bruno. He's the man who stole it from the hotel you were staying at 20 years ago. And you're the thief who just happened to target our room the same day the terrorists came for us. Heard you told the police that you didn't remember anything at the time. I thought you'd have forgotten me. Oh, I would never forget you. Then why did you cover for me? No, I suppose it doesn't matter at this point. I'm... I'm sorry. I may not have been the man that killed your parents, but I still let them die. If you want revenge, I'll take it. You can even turn me into the cops if you want. I won't resist. Bruno? Bruno. For 20 years, I've wanted to meet you. For 20 years, I wanted to say something to you. Thank you. Thank you for saving my life. What? When I woke up that night, the first thing I saw was two men standing by my parents' bed. Both of them drenched in blood. It was too late for my parents. I was so scared that I couldn't move. It would have been too late for me, too, if you hadn't appeared then. You didn't hesitate. You looked me in the eyes and immediately took my hand and led me out of the room. I'll admit I noticed you pickpocketing Mom's locket as you did. I guess he wasn't willing to pass up on the opportunity. But you still saved my life. You told me not to tell anyone about you after you left, and I listened. You were my hero. Still are. That's why I never told the police or my relatives about you. Even my secret this whole time. Tough nut to crack, huh? You, you idiot. I'm no hero. I just didn't think I was going to chance on a murder scene and led you away without even thinking about it. Then you had to go and thank me after that? It sounded so pitiful. That one thing has continued to haunt me all these years. So I started making more and more mistakes until I finally gave up thieving. Really? I'm very sorry about that. Get a smile off your face. But I guess that means it's thanks to you that I was able to change. I should be thanking you, not the other way around. <laughs> it makes me genuinely happy to hear I was able to do something for you after everything you did for me. You sure are a piece of work, old man. Still, it sounds like this was a happy ending for everyone.
The party kept Bruno and Roderick company as the two of them talked for a while longer. Eventually, they saw Roderick off, who, as much as he wished he could stay, was forced to leave for a business meeting. Well, I'm gonna head off. I'll make sure to wire you the money later. Cheers. Uh, listen, this is all thanks to you guys. What's that? Can you say that again? Forget it. See ya. What if the final boss was piloting a giant robot monkey? Still, still a monkey. Still a monkey. You went with the other option? Nice. No, I don't know about that cartoon show. I don't. He's not one for being honest with his feelings, is he? You're right about that one. After Bruno departed, Van contacted Editor-in-Chief Sullivan to update her on what happened. She concluded that there was no reason to publish what they had learned and there was no threats to the public. And so, it was that. Unbeknownst to the world, the story of the former thief and the locket he stole came to a happy All end. All in a day's work. Or deposited. Chaos up! Finally! <laughs> it took so long, but we finally got chaos up. Come on, I'm begging you. Oh, hey! Here to take some work off our hands? Nope, I just happened to stop by. Looking into something else right now that's kind of related. Sorry to break it to you, lover boy, but Elaine's not around right now. That's not why I'm here either. Man, I wouldn't want to deal with you guys on the daily. Um, may I ask what you were talking about? I just got the final report on the Longport incident. Oh, what's in it? There were over 20 casualties. Longport's starting to quiet down, but the whole thing ain't over. The guild still needs to keep a close eye on the situation. Yes, but we need to be careful on our end, too. What are you getting at? I wish I was exaggerating. The guild and the police have been looking into Almada. I suspect Heiwei, the CID, and other organizations are likely doing the same. However, every attempt to probe Almada with undercover agents has ended in failure. Many bracers and police officers have lost their lives. Some bracers lost their lives, too. You probably heard it from Elaine already, but that's why we're short on staff. Don't want to put any undue pressure on you lot, but cooperating wouldn't be half bad idea if we had the chance. Just like Longport, yeah? I might be down. <laughs> it's good enough for me. I appreciate it. Hazel and I have been talking about personal personnel distribution. Elaine's been doing a great job keeping up with all her work, even on top of everything else popping up. Doing a bang-up job as a new BA rank. But I don't think she should be handling all of this all alone. Ideally, multiple people would be tackling things, these things together. Is she here? I've been leaving the country on a business trip next week. I'd rather not, considering we're so busy, but I can't warm my way out of it. Our relationship with the Empire has improved, but that doesn't mean it's peachy everywhere. There are still fires to be put out. There's the newly independent North Ambria issues in the east, and there's Arteria to worry about, too. And I hear at home, and here at home, we still have A to worry about. Dang, I gotta get going. The sooner I leave, the sooner I'll be back. We have to kill chaos? Maybe. I can't believe it. He was getting promoted to B rank before me. Damn it. Losing to your rival blows. No, no. I need to turn this around. It's my time to catch up. No, I'll surpass him. Come on, Alvis. Calm down. Promotion isn't a race. The Arasion branch has been dealing with a lot lately. 
His promotion is probably because of all the work he did there. Yeah, I know. Still. Renton's pretty much the only one I got left on par with me. But he's making good progress, too. There's also the new recruit, too. She might be younger than me, but she's already a B rank. I can learn a lot from her. Yeah, I need to step up my game. I need to train harder. Talking about fee. Fee's already B rank. Dang. Then let's head over. Oh, is this the one that I... This is the one I want. Nah, chaos is cool. He just wants a hug. Hence the phrasing, embracing chaos. We have full confidence in our products. You have my deepest gratitude. Finally! <laughs> Lucian, thank you for the Prime Gaming 10 months. Welcome back. Same rank as Joshua and Estelle because Kondo hates people that 100% is Sky SC. I still need to 100% Sky SC. Wait your next visit. Oh, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> Welcome to Ireland. We have outfits for discerning ladies and gentlemen. Our clothes suit any age and gender, handcrafted with our philosophy in mind. Here at Ireland, we work to draw out the true inner beauty to help you be who you really are. And we hope we can help you help you show your true colors yourself. Oh, yeah, we got that mystery solving thing. Mistress Taylor on the cutting edge of fashion, huh? The manager here puts the bill. Do you have a, do you have a minute? We're doing this mystery solving game thing. Said to look for a Mistress Taylor at you by chance. My, my, I wasn't expecting anyone to figure it out that quickly. I'm indeed the mistress you seek. I'm the royal family's personal tailor. And since I have the key, you must have figured out that I'm complicit in the princess's kidnapping as well. Alas, I am unmasked. Sure thing, you're uh, way more into this than I was expecting. Well, I see what you what they mean by full body now. We should get in character ourselves, maybe. Now that I've been found out, oh dear, what's a conspirator like me to do? I'll give you the key if you just let me go, I promise. I, er, to be honest, I was against kidnapping her from the start, truly. But a certain someone gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. Treasure beyond my wildest dreams. I simply had to play along. 
Evidently, bribery is a big problem in this kingdom. Who's the certain someone, though? Oh, forgive me, I just can't say. But a promise is a promise. Here's the first key and the next clue. Best of luck. So this here's the next puzzle. Let me take a look. Look to the river for your next key, where a metal box ferries passengers across. The man watching over it holds the key. A metal box by the river, it says. I can only think of one place that fits the description. I'll be watching over your progress, if you don't mind. Only you can set her free, brave knight. Her fate is in your hands. You Right. How did I do? Pretty good. Sold the whole corrupt aid thing pretty well. Damn it. Now I'm invested. I feel like I gotta see this game to the end now. Well, thank you. This has been a fun change of pace for me. Well then, shall we search for the next key? Um... Taking off now. Talk to Amy. This feels great. This Amy. Ooh. Hey, hey. Excuse me. Are you Amy? We're from Arc Ride Solutions. Do you need our help with something? Oh yes, I do. Thank you guys for coming. I can't believe you're actually real. Not to be rude, but do you mind if I get straight to business and explain what I need? Not at all. Let's get down to it. Basically, you want us to search for your missing boyfriend, right? Could you tell us about what happened leading up to his disappearance? Sure. So my boyfriend's name is Mark. We've been going out for four years now. Things have been great, have been great between us, except he's in a gang. We've had him do shady jobs all, and all kinds of bad things since he joined, from what I can tell. That's why I, when I knew he was missing, I couldn't turn to the police. And that's why you turned to us. That makes sense. Yes, exactly. But I should make something clear about Mark. He might be in a gang, but deep down, he's such a reasonable, honest guy. Really. Once we started dating, he promised me he would get his act together and change his ways. I was even thinking about marrying him in the future. Then a month ago, he told me that he was finally going to leave the gang for good. That's the last I ever heard of him. I haven't seen hide nor hair of him since. So he vanished right as he was about to pull out, huh? That's some timing. Any number of things could have happened, but, all, but it all definitely raises some eyebrows. You know the name of the gang he belongs to by any chance? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was called Desire or something along those lines. That's all I really know. I never went into any more detail beyond the name we'd, when we talked. Have you heard of them, Van? Oh yeah, I've heard of the name come up here and there recently. Can't say I know all that much about them myself, though. If we decide to search for this guy, we have to see what we can learn about them first. I tried as much as I could to look into it, but I couldn't figure out where Mark went. You guys are the only hope I have. Please. Is there any way you can possibly help? Sure, I don't see why not. Consider us on board. Oh, thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Don't go thanking us just yet. We haven't even got started. Let's review what we know and then figure out the plan of attack. Basically, our man Mark was determined to get out of desire so he could live clean. But after making that intention clear, he's been incommunicado for a month, which brings us to today. Given what we know, it's entirely possible he ran into some kind of trouble once he actually tried to leave. If we could find someone who knows about the gang, it might be a good idea to ask if they have any idea what happened. How does that sound, Van? You read my mind. I think I know just the person we should hit up. If we're talking about a gangster here, the chances are good he's had his fair share of weapons business to take the, take care of from time to time. I want to stop by the gun shop in the department store over on Station Street and have a talk with the shop ke shopkeeper. Wow, you guys are already at, so on top of things. I'm so glad I decided to reach out to you. Well, thanks for helping me find Mark. I'll leave it in your capable hands to figure out things now. You can always count on us professionals. We'll contact you again once we have more information about him. Till then, sit tight. 
Time to start working. That's an option for a sound? Mm-hmm. Off we go. Off we go. You know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't saved. Thank you for visiting the Weston Department Store. Let me ask you something. Who needs to save? We do it live. I mean, it's all fun and it's all fun, but if something ever happens, then I have to do it all over. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, if it ain't Van, what can I do for you today? I'm here on a job. I wanted to ask you a question. You ever heard of a delinquent group going by the name Desire? Oh yeah, nasty bunch. A lot of them. And ain't got a lick of, of scruples. They'll even take jobs from A. Violence, blackmail, you name it. Their leader's supposed to be pretty smart too. Got it. Sounds like a load of trouble to be honest. A leader and one of his goons came here about a month ago. Bought two large caliper orbital guns and left. I'd rather not sell our goods to folks like those, but business is business. A month ago? You don't happen to know the name of the person accompanying that leader, do you? I think I do. Mark, if my memory serves me well. Jackpot. We finally found him. Anything else you can recall? Hmm. Remember I'm talking about Mark taking on this big job so we can split from the team. Guns they got were the real deal. Heavy stuff. Bigger and meaner than anything a common gangster sh uh, should be hauling around. Mark was a ball of nerves when I handed them to him. So we're dealing with a gangster talking on a, on a big enough job that he needs to bust out big guns for it. Also, we can leave him. Just hearing that is very ominous. That's all I remember. If you need any more info on Mark, maybe get it straight from the horse's mouth and just ask someone from Desire directly. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Can you point me at someone in particular? Sure can. You know Eddie, the son of the Newberry General Store's owner? He's part of their gang. Oh, right. Heard he was going through a bit of a rebellious phase lately. We just saw him arguing with his mom back at their shop. I never thought he'd end up in desire, though. Weird. Hopefully he's still there. Let's go see. We're off to Old Town, then. Thanks for the help. Don't mention it. It's either me, uh, he has a name, or the goose. Say it. Oh, thank <sighs> you ever name. so much. Why won't you love Tom Honks? <sighs> I did pick on for the roaming around. Hard trip, thank you for the 31 month resub. You live for that sigh? Uh, this goose is going to live on my head in September, isn't it? Actually, I have something else for you. Heard this story through the Orbital Net recently. It took a while to reach my ears. Something about these Jaeger cores that got wiped out right in the skirt in the outskirts of uh, Bomb. You hear about them? It's not a name you hear often. Bomb's up in the Northeast, right? First, I've heard of it. How come you're telling us this? Rumor has it that those Jaeger cores were hired by someone outside the country. Most people speculate the carnage might have been A's doing. It's got potential to mess up, mess with my weapon supply routes. So I was hoping you'd heard something. Afraid not, sorry. But I'll keep you in the know if I do hear anything. Might be something to keep in mind. Off we go. Oh, why hello? Can we talk? Come on, it's just 5,000, Mira. You can lend me that much. Call it my wage for helping around the store. Again with that nonsense? I wouldn't call doing something for a few minutes before flaking out helping at all. 
Uh, sorry to interrupt. I know you're in the middle of something, but do you think we could talk? Oh, sorry, Van. Didn't mean, didn't mean for you to see that. What can I do for you? Back off, asshole. Can't you see me and the old lady are having an important conversation right now? Hey, that's no way to talk to a customer. And what are you going to do about that? Um, maybe you should try again later. Whoa, chill out, folks. We wanted to talk to Eddie, actually. Can you give us a sec? What? Me? What do you want? If it's him you're after, take your conversation outside. He'll scare away business if he's inside much longer. I've seen you guys around the shop before. What do you want? This is strictly business. We're investigating something for a client. What can you tell us about a guy named Mark? Rolls in the same gang as you, right? Desire? That guy? Why should I tell you anything? I don't owe you people. Please, you should really reconsider. We were hired by Mark's girlfriend. She was worried because she hasn't been able to contact him. We're looking into things for her. Oh, so that's what's going on. All right. I can see why you'd want to put her mind at ease. It'd suck if they bumped into each other one day and she had no idea what's been going on. You just want to talk, yeah? Nothing more? That wasn't hurt. Yeah, that's all we need. Whatever you know, anything helps. Well, I don't got much for you. Mark asked to be cut from the gang a while back. They let him go. Haven't heard much from I'm from him since. Been quiet. Wait, you're saying he's already out of the gang? That's right. And I don't think it was out of the blue or nothing. He'd apparently been thinking about it for a while. About a month ago, our boss agreed to let him go, on one condition. Alright, we're getting somewhere. What condition? As I hear it, we just gotten a big job from Almada. They had some beef with this other group that's been hiring Jaegers or something. Mark was supposed to infiltrate their base and get some intel on them. That sounds really dangerous. He could get caught by the Jaegers. Not the kind of gig you'd expect to make it back alive from, that's for sure. But he's out now, so something must have gone right, yeah? Is that what you heard? Something like that. Looks like the crazy bastard pulled it off. Can't imagine shit was easy, though. The Jaegers are in Bomb. And that's a long ways away. Bomb? It also came up when we visited the gun shop earlier. Pieces keep clicking into place. We ain't sure yet. We got no hard evidence on it. While you're here, can you think of anyone else that might know what's going on with Mark? Yeah, I know, guy. Mark always talked about this childhood friend of his. Name's Simon, I think. If I remember, if I remember incorrectly, he said Simon's the basketball team captain over in Side End. Must be nice having a cool friend like that. I'm gonna pull off something real badass one of these days, and then all the senior members will finally want to hang it with me. And our next stop's the Side End District. Thanks for that. Oh, you won. Yeah, whatever. Don't go wasting that info. Okay? Off we go. Little bro just wanted his senpais to notice him. Senpai, notice me. No, you haven't done anything cool yet. But senpai... What's up? Haven't seen you guys around here. You don't look like tryouts. I'm running the street basketball team, see? Got some of, got some of the downtown guys here. Kind of sold out lately, so there has, haven't been as many guys coming to try out. Oh yeah, I heard a thing or two about that. Some team from the streets making noise around town. It really blew up, didn't it? The street ball thing you started. Oh yeah, it's a real big business now. Better than an outlet that, uh, than what we used to do. Now we can leave it all out on the court. You got some rough dudes, yeah? But they're pretty chill here. Okay, maybe it's rough's underselling it a bit. But why don't you take a look and see for yourself? Can we talk? Let's talk. There's some b-ball team from Sidon. Been making waves lately. This guy looks like the team captain. Got basketball minigame win? I'd be down. Hey there, 
Got time for a quick question? Yeah, what's up? We're from Arkride Solutions, and we're working on an investigation right now. You know anything about a guy named Mark who hangs around with Desire? Mark, huh? Yeah, I know him. You looking into him? Yes, we received a request from his girlfriend. She hasn't heard from him in over a month, so she'd like us to find him. What I understand, you've been buds with him since you were kids. You got any idea what he's been up to lately? Huh. So she ain't heard from him either? It's kind of been expect I've been kind of been expecting bad news, but man, he really went and screwed himself over, didn't he? Sounds like you know something about what he's gotten himself into. Care to elaborate? Well, if his girl if Amy sent you, then I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I figured you guys know what's best for him, right? So a month ago, I got this letter from him, and it's weird because he never does that. Ever. It said they gave him a job to sneak into some Jaeger camp outside of Bomb City. Why? Don't know. He told me it was some kind of trial. They were going to get have him go out there by himself and scout, scout the enemy or something. Oh, no. He sent, he sent me that message the night before he was supposed to go. He, you could tell he was shaking when he wrote it. He said, I don't know if I'm coming back from this one, man. Wrote about Amy, too. If I don't make it home, tell her I ran off with some other girl. I don't want her grieving for me. Stupid son of a bitch. He didn't want her to grieve. He should have come back alive. Been with him since we were kids, and I couldn't help him when he needed it most. Friggin' sorry just i need a sec to cool off it hurts man no problem take your time i think we got the gist of it now we got a foreign power that picked up some jaegers to try and do something about you know who and they responded by getting desire to do some dirty work and rough up the same jaeger squad for them and mark was the unlucky bastard they picked for the job but then a raided the jaeger detachment themselves that lines up with what Eddie said, doesn't it? In that case, Mark may still be alive. We can't rule out that he might have gotten out of there safely. It's possible, yeah. We just don't have enough info to go on as of yet. We should try to find out the article Sylvie told us about. What does it say? I'll read it. Headline. Jaeger Corps suddenly gunned down outside Bomb City. According to local reports, a Jaeger formation outside Bomb City suddenly got uh, suddenly and violently engaged with an unknown aggressor. However, both sides retreated without a trace afterwards, leaving little evidence behind. Authorities did find the body of a young man not far from the scene of the incident. Oh. Forensic analysis indicated that the boy died one or two days before the incident is thought to have occurred. Authorities are investigating how the boy might have been connected to the battle, but so far they have been unable to identify him. And that's that. They haven't identified him, but with all the evidence we have... Well, I guess Mark got the last laugh in the end. Those Jaegers got burned out there. He didn't come back for Amy, and I think that just about closes the case. You know, he did good for some boy and over his head. I guess that's it then. He just... He's gone. Simon, you were listening in on us? Yeah, just that bit at the end. I kind of already knew, but... Yeah. I had to know for sure, as his old friend. Yeah. But do I tell Amy is the thing? I don't know what to do. What do you guys think? Mark made up that lie for you to tell her, right? Yeah, anything to keep her happy. But this is going to break her heart either way. Do I tell her the truth or do I honor Mark's last request? We'll think on that for you. Once we loop back with her, we'll tell her what we think is right. Thanks. That'll be a weight off my shoulders. I gotta head out. Take care of Amy, yeah? So, what will you tell her? Let me think on that one for a bit. Not an easy decision to make. We've got time to think while we head over to her, at least. Off 
we go. Ooh, what to say, what to say, what to say. That was fast. I didn't expect to see you guys again so soon. Does that mean you found some kind of lead on Mark? It's okay if it's nothing big. I'll take anything you have. I want to know. Van, what should we say? I know I'm just trying to figure out how to put it. Give me a sec. I can either respect Amy's wishes here and give her the cold, hard truth. Or I can respect Mark's wishes and cover it up so she doesn't go on mourning of him. Either way, she's not getting out of this conversation unscathed. It's up to me to choose how this case ends. I have to decide what's ultimately best and stick with it. Pick the shitty option or the shitty option. Exactly. Billy, what's up, buddy? Fly. Yeah, exactly, Riri. Emotional damage or emotional damage. Yeah, that, that's 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 what I'm leaning towards. Uh, door. Tell the truth, or we could do the Todd Hayward. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna tell the truth. I'm gonna give it to her straight. She's the client, after all. Well, a friend of Mark's gave us a letter that he wrote. You should read it first, then we'll tell you what happened to Mark. <sighs> exactly, exactly. His handwriting, it's definitely his. It says he wrote this letter the night before he left for work. After reading the letter, Amy was left in tears at the point, at which point Van divulged what he read in the online news article. Mark sounded so confident that everything was going to be okay. I completely believed him. I knew it wasn't going to be easy for him to leave the gang, but why? Why did I tell him we could get married if he'd cut ties with them? If I hadn't said that, he... he... I'm sorry you had to see all that. I'm okay now. Thank you for delivering the letter to me and uncovering all of that. I'll be forever grateful to the two of you. Wish we had a happier news to give, but that's how it goes in this line of work sometimes. Yes, I understand. Can I ask you for one more thing? What is it? Will you guys help me get revenge on Almada? That's... I'll do what I can, whatever you ask. I'll give you as much money as you need, just please. Can I end... It can't end like this. If you're not just talking and are willing to put your money where your mouth is, then sure, I'll consider it. You will? You do that for me? Of course. Money buys you lots of stuff from a, uh, from a spriggan. But you really think that's the best way to honor your boyfriend's memory? You might not want to hear this, but now that you know as much as you do, you have a certain responsibility to carry out. I do? What are you talking about? Mark loved you so much he tried to quit his gang so he can get, could live legit with you. All he probably ever wanted was to lead a normal happy life without dragging you into the underworld. He risked his life to make that happen and get paid and paid the price. Do you think going out and getting your hands dirty is going to bring any happiness? I understand how you th think you can't forgive yourself for what you said, but Mark was trying to protect you too. Try not to forget that. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. The last thing I want to do is disrespect his feelings. 
Eh. I might have been a little presumptuous with that, uh, with what I said, too. I could have worded that better. I'll keep my opinions to myself from here on. All I'll say is you should really think carefully about how you want to proceed. Right. Thank you. That was really short-sighted of me to say that, so I'm going to sit down and really process my feelings after this. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave now. Thank you again, both of you, and take care. All in a day's work. All in a day's work. <sighs> if we lie and she finds out the truth, the also worst case scenario is it is. I've, I've been enjoying the side quests. You find a side quest better in Edith than those in the other. It to me. Than those in the other uh, towns and cities. Might be the first time Jeff didn't take the hat off the second the timer ended. <laughs> very, very rare. I I get it. Just sometimes I leave it on for a little bit longer. If we're in a scene or whatever. Hell Sorcerer, thank you for the God Tier 3 13 month. Enjoy all the lovely emotes, the ad free viewing. Thank you for the tremendous amount of support there. Oh, sounds like I've got mail. Who's it from? It's from the CID. They've got another job for us. Memorial Park extermination. We've recently received reports of a dangerous monster in the area. Depths of Dirk Memorial Park. Typical monster extermination gigs look like. We'll be heading to Dirk Memorial Park. Oh, really? I believe that's on the outskirts oh, of the city. Oh, thank you ever so much. Philly, thank you for the Prime Gaming 15 months. Welcome back. Enjoy the ad-free viewing, those lovely emotes. Would have been nice if they picked some place closer, but... Oh well. Hold up. Let's follow the extra line breaks. Wait. Yes. Make sure you treasure all of your memories. Uh, that guy's a pain in the neck sometimes. So, what should we do? Well, the pay, the pay is decent enough, I guess. I think snatching it out of the guild's grubby paws is the play here. We're gonna need to take the car though, so let's get back to the garage once we're done with everything else. Hey, hey! Renee is such a troll. I love him. He is. Hey, did you see? There's a new movie. There's a new movie. Discover the. Let's do this. Hmm? 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 Okay, so here we are, right at the entrance of the Riverside subway. It said, look to the river and where a metal box ferries passengers underground. That's gotta mean here. Let's go underground then. The man watching over, it holds the key. Yeah. Yo, we're playing a puzzle game right now. I take it you're the one watching over the second key? <laughs> Very astute. You'd be correct. Before you stand, this... Before you stands the supervisor of the Kingdom of Edith's underground mine. With the subterranean tunnels known only to me, whisking away the princess was child's play. Looks like you've really gotten into this. So you were the one who kidnapped her then? In one sense, yes. I did a little more than carry her off to her prison, however. It was someone else who, s who hatched the plot to take her there. I assume you want to know who, but you'll never... But you'll get nothing more from me. If you desire the truth, it lies beyond the next mystery. Here's the second key as a reward for your cunning. 
Jumping straight to the next one, huh? Let's see. The final key is in the Tyrell district. The ever source, ever resourceful guide of the theater has it on their person. So this one's in Tyrell. The ever resourceful guide of the theater. Maybe it's some kind of code. At this point, I'm kind of curious about the ending, honestly. Let's get a move on. To the theater. Off we go. Sorry. To the cinema. The clue we got mentions an ever resourceful guide of the theater. If I had to guess, it's probably talking about this guide who works at the Spirit Cinema. One way to find out. Got a second? We're taking part in this riddle game that's being tested right now. You the ever resourceful guide of the theater that's got the last clue we're looking for by any chance? Unbelievable. To think someone has reached the likes of me at long last. Yes. What you say is true. I serve the kingdom of Edith as a humble member of this thea the theatrical company. Long have I awaited the arrival of one who would come for my key. And it seems as though that time is finally upon me. You've been waiting for us, huh? That's a new one. It's not what your pal said. You're different from them somehow. That I am. As it so happens, I was once part of the Knight's Brigade. Circumstances have since seen me in the employ of this troop. However, my loyalty to the Edith royal family remains as unwavering as ever. Indeed, upon hatching... Upon catching wind of a plot by a certain count to imprison the princess, I saw fit to infiltrate the enemy ranks. I lack the means to stop the count's schemes. That is why I have sought someone to whom I could entrust my key. And at last, they have arrived. Well then, the story is getting a little dramatic. And with that, I shall now leave the last key in your capable hands. Thanks. You won't regret it. From the way you're talking, it sounds like you know who's behind all this. Care to fill us in? Certainly. The man who imprisoned our fair princess is none other than Count Iota. He is a vile man who oppressed the people of his dominion. Thus the royal family saw fit to punish him for his misdeeds. As a result, the Count came to, a har to harbor a profound grudge against them, which has led to today's tragic state of affairs. Gotcha. I guess that'll do it. But fear not, justice is on our side, or the Count's own butler, Ilhan, is of the same mind as myself. Give unto him the three keys that you have assembled, and he shall be able to free the princess at long last. Good luck. The fate of her royal highness now rests within your hands. Please do not let the kingdom down. We won't, I swear to you. Oops. I got into the moment more than I expected there. That almost felt real. I guess that's what happens when we're dealing with an actor who goes method. Anyway, looks like our next stop is this Count Iota Manor, wherever that might be. Iota and Ilhan. I've heard those names somewhere before. There might be a there might not be a riddle attached to this key, but it sounds like we'll have to go searching for one more place. Isn't there a cafe in town with the name Iota? I'm sure we'll run into it if we walk around long enough. Let's roll. Taking off now. Big brain. Big brain. This place name is Iota. Ilhan's the owner's name. We're in the end game now. Literally. You must be Ilhan, correct? Count Iota's butler? You know my name. Then you must have come to save the princess. Sure have. And we got all three keys, too. Van handed the three keys they gathered. You actually brought them. These are indeed the keys we need to unlock the princess's cell. She may finally walk free once more. It's such a relief to hear that. But will you be okay? Won't you face consequences for your betrayal of the Count? Maybe I'm taking this game too seriously. You're absolutely right. I'm sure to pay a price for this. Perhaps the steepest price of all. 
But I am only standing before you today because of the royal family. I could not live with myself if I didn't help them in their hour of need. I will go and set the princess free now. Can I ask you to wait here while I do so? Sure. Wonder who's playing the princess. I'm so excited for the finale. They put so much effort into this whole production. Thank you for your patience. I brought the princess here with me. Nice. We finally get to meet... So you are the kind strangers who rescued me, are you? Um, thank you so much. The Kingdom of Edith will never forget this kindness. Oh, come on. At least put some oomph into it. Don't drop the ball at the end. Well, I didn't see this coming. I'm sorry, we couldn't find anyone to play the role of the princess in time. Thanks for helping out, Ilhan. <laughs> Don't mention it. I had a lot of fun. I'd be happy to help out again if you have any other roles for me. I'll leave it to you then. See you around. Well, can you tell me what you thought of the game then? Honestly, it was more fun than I expected it to be. You clearly put a lot of effort into both the puzzles and the setting. The story being so dramatic helped to draw us into it too. I wasn't sure if there was really a mystery game like this. But judging by your reactions, it looks like I was worrying for nothing. Yeah, could always try a different setting if you want to shake things up a little. Don't gotta stick with the kingdom of the princess setting. Yep, that's the plan. I've always had trouble getting people to take an interest in my ideas. Many feel like puzzle games are just inaccessible. But if I can nail the setting, then maybe that'll draw people in, and then they'll realize how much fun they can be. Always good to see someone enjoying their hobbies. Yeah, but I don't plan on keeping it a hobby. I want to set up an event planning company and take it to the next level. Anyhow, my confidence is soaring sky high now, with a glowing review coming from our famous Spriggan. I'm heading home to start working on the next game. That takes care of that. Was hoping it was going to be Princess Aaron. <laughs> We're half expecting Kurt. Could you imagine, like, Sky Kurt? One additional free time point was added for completing all the Force Brigands. Leviathan, what's up, buddy? How are you? Take good care of it. Van's group decided to take a short break. Thank you again for agreeing to come out shopping with me, Van. I'm only going to buy some personal items, though. You didn't really have to accompany me. You got a lengthy shopping list, right? Figured you need some help carrying it all. Something about a bunch of art class supplies, yeah? That's right. We're about to start lessons on oil painting soon. And I don't suspect I'll be able to produce something I'll be proud of with my current supplies. It's also a good chance to replace some of my older equipment with better materials, too. Being a student is really tough on the wallet, huh? Well, let's see what we can find. Thank you. surprising just how much of a difference in price there can be between paints that are basically the same color. And then I have to choose between a 12 color set and a 24 color set. There's an almost overwhelming amount of options. For sure, the pricier ones are supposed to have more vibrant colors that fade less and have better coverage. I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money, but do keep in mind that you're at Aramis of all places. Trying to make do with some with stuff more suited to your stage of learning instead of just shooting for the top range goods could be an educational itself. Perhaps you're right. Maybe I should go for something more basic and affordable then. I'd also like to buy a variety of brushes. I have some already, but it's just a beginner set I bought when I enrolled. Maybe it'd be worth buying something expensive like a fan brush then. I know I just said to shoot. They said not to shoot for the top range goods, but with brushes, a different material really does open up a lot of options. You know more a lot about you know a lot more about this stuff than I expected. 
You do seem to have a lot of hobbies, though. Is painting one of them? Uh, no, not really. Gave it a shot, but I learned real quick it wasn't for me. How about this set? Looks like it'd be a perfect match for you. Zealand, thank you for hanging out. Get that rest. We will see you next time for sure. The luxury Aramis, the artist's model brush. Goodness gracious, this is expensive. That will be 2,000 Mira in total. I'll pay with this then. I'm quite happy with how that went. It fit perfectly within my budget too. Yeah, figured you'd end up overspending what with everything you got. You gotta keep in a budget for a rich girl. I wouldn't quite describe myself that way, but I suppose school has forced good habits on me. I perform a lot of different jobs as part of the student council. Maybe I could use some of those skills back at the office. <laughs> I wouldn't mind helping with all there is to do at the office. Having finished shopping with a little time to spare, Anya's decided to stop by Riverside to test her new art supplies. Don't know why I'm even surprised an Aramis student would knock it out of the park with art, too. All I'm really doing is applying what we learned in class. But it's nice spending an occasional day off painting like this. The light reflecting off the river surface is beautiful. And the breeze feels quite nice. It's fun. Good to hear. Though painting the cityscape feels a far bit advanced. Really? I feel like I see painters doing it all the time. Come to think of it, Aramis... The artist himself drew a number of Edith cityscapes, I believe. If I remember correctly, his earlier work depicted immigrants who'd been turned away from their homes. His later works depicted the streets of Edith after the Calvardian Revolution. The biggest constant is he always paints people, not just landscapes. That's not a surprise coming from one of the main parties behind the revolution and your school's founder. Though I also heard he was a real weirdo as all artists tend to be. <laughs> I don't think you're far off. I've heard of his eccentricities in some of my classes. But sitting here right now, painting the city, the city landscape just as he did, helps me imagine what he might have thought as he did this too. I can't help but think that he would have wanted the peaceful joy he painted on his canvas to reflect forever outside of it too. He might not be far off there. Oh, no way. So you know... What? You're kidding. Oh, they're Aramis students. They're probably on their way back home after their club activities. Let me know if I'm being rude or anything, but I kind of think you should have joined a club yourself. I appreciate your concern, but I'm fine. I'm more than happy keeping busy after school and on the weekends with my part-time job. It's taught me a great deal just working with you and everyone at the office. And needless to say, I enjoy it a lot, too. Of course, I do still make time to contribute to school. Act school. Oh my god. I do still make time to contribute to school activities when I, when the time allows for it. Well, if you're enjoying student life, then there's no reason for me to butt in. Clearing the orbital net history. Exactly. Exactly. You're not the kind to neglect school and flunk out just because of a part-time job. I agree there. I have always liked studying, to be frank, so it hardly feels like a burden. I like organizing stu study groups in my free time. Studying with friends is surprisingly effective. There's always something new to learn from others. You can never truly stop learning. It's hard at times, but it's also very rewarding. Yeah, I trust you. Just don't go missing not out on quality time with your friends just because you're busy with your job, okay? The friends you make in school have the potential to be some of the best you'll ever make. And this is basically your only chance to ever do that. Oh, I... will keep that in mind. I thought she said she was working a part-time job. They went shopping and now they're even painting? This is so suspicious. I need to look into this more. Van and Agnes return to their patrols after she was done with her painting. I 
really want to get to know you better, Van. Anya's connection stage went up, allowing you to learn something new about them. A strong willed student. Van's connection stage went up. Shrewd negotiator. Nice. Nice. So what's the big deal, Renee? Why'd you drag me all the way out here on such short notice? You know I'd prefer if you didn't call me that. All these years later, and I still have to remind you the first thing when we sit down to talk. You never change, do you, Van? I only call you that because it's still your name, pal. Change your name and I'll change what I call you. Simple as that. I take that back. You have changed. You're now sassier than before. Now then, I realize that ever since we exchanged contact info, we've gotten... We haven't once gotten together in private like this. So, since I had some time to relax away from work today, I decided to call you over here. And now, here we are. So you don't have any real business with me. Is that what you're saying? You're a real roundabout guy, you know what? Most guys, when they just want to shoot the shit together, do it over a couple of pints at a local bar or something. Trust me. I have plenty of reasons to drink. We'll have to make time for that to do that sometime later. Unlike your free willing self as a spriggan, those of us in the government always have our hands full with work. And I never said I didn't have business with you, Ban. Don't you think it's my job as something of an older brother to wonder how you're doing and what I want to check in? Oh, that's what this is about, huh? Well, I'm just about the same as ever, barely keeping the business afloat as best I can. You know how it goes. You brought in more help though, didn't you? I heard he's attached to Heiyue as well. With one glaring exception, I have to say, you're building up quite the seedy roster of lackeys over there. Could you not dig in these things up like you're a world-class shovel before I even say a word about them? But just so we're clear, they foisted themselves onto me without asking. They're not their because I asked him to be. If I had it my way, I'd still be flying solo and everything would be perfect. You say that, but you have a noticeable spring in your step compared to before. It's fine to say you like them, Van. You're not a child anymore. No need to be bashful. Shut up. Ugh. It's always the same with you. You and Elaine both. And you, I should say. If nothing else, I imagine your new helpers will be good for you in the long run. My hope is they'll keep you from being tempted to repeat what you pulled before. Certainly Elaine and I would both appreciate it. Aren't you going to pick that up? It's probably a work call, isn't it? Don't worry about it. This is more important. Now, you're not in a rush, right? Why don't you and I stay here for a while? At least till we're done drinking our coffee. You can even order some dessert if you'd like. It'll be my treat. I'm feeling generous. Are you telling me we're... Keep talking like normal and don't look alarmed. This must look like a perfectly natural conversation. Yeah, he's talking to that guy we have, at, we have in our data. Alright, I'll contact you again later. Looks like he took off. Am I right in thinking it was you he was watching and not me? Indeed. Your intuition is on point. Correct. No problems here. Proceed with things as we originally planned. Adios. This is why you really called me out here, isn't it? No need to be so upset. It wasn't entirely about me. I genuinely wanted to hear how you were doing, too. I didn't say I was upset. His name is Hubert. He's a relative. 
relatively recent hire of the CID who joined us a year and a half ago. That's all? He sure looks and acts like someone who's a lot less fresh than that. What's a guy like him doing, doing looking after one of the agency's own analysts? I said he was new to the CID, not the occupation itself. He used to work for the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division. One of Erebonia's guys? Didn't their agency just get a big reshuffle a little while back? That's right. With the Iron Bloods out of the picture and the war over, he said he saw the Empire as a lost cause. So he came over to our side and was nice enough to supply us with intelligence about the founding of Erebonia's new intelligence division. He still maintains his citizenship over there as well. Double agent then. He is insofar as most people within the CID are concerned. Hold on, you're telling me he's... Yes, in all likelihood, he's a triple agent. He hasn't truly defected to our side. His real objective is to either obtain information on us or to strip our operations. All under the orders of Lecter Arundel at the new division. I've heard the name before. He has a reputation for being a real cunning bastard. You're telling me. Even with the Ironbloods gone, he's a formidable figure who continues to sit at the heart of their intelligence operations. Nearly all spies we've sent into Erebonia since the war have either been terminated or sweet-talked into joining him instead. We've had quite a lot of egg on our face in recent times because of him. Alright, so back up a sec. If you already know that much about him, then that means you must be doing something about it, right? Correct. By letting him see me with you, we hope to cause a little disruption of our own within his intelligence network. With any luck, he'll be turned into a quadruple agent working to our benefit, whether he likes it or not. Suffice it to say, it will be very interesting to see what Scarecrow's next move will be. I'm not gonna lie, all this double double crossing crap you got going on is making my head spin. And hey, keep me out of your stupid intelligence warfare. I don't want anything to do with that bullshit whatsoever. Now, now, no need to get so worked up. I told you that you can order anything off the dessert menu. Go ahead, pick whatever you like. It'll make you feel better. Don't you try to bribe me with your spec- you spectacle sadist? <laughs> Van proceeded to order the most expensive desserts he could find on the sp- of, and the find of the spite. However, Kincaid wasn't even phased, paying for it without a word of a protest. Exasperated by his friend's eternally unflapped and flappable demeanor, Van returned to his work with a sigh. I'll be putting you to good use. Good <laughs> use. New connection stage. Kincaid's Dex plus three, Van's Dex plus three. So we might eventually get to use Kincaid. Is that what this is saying? Renee and Lecter on screen would be, would, at the same time, would be a treat. It probably would be, yeah. Car dealer? Yep, that's luxury. Excess express all the way. I don't think I can handle her. No, no. Resist the temptation, Van. Only got eyes for you, Ingert. You really say you love your car when you haven't modded the hell out of it? Aren't you... Hey, look who it is. Bumped into, into each other in Longport, too, didn't we? We have a knack for doing that. Well, what timing? I've been looking for you. Is it true that you and your company had a hand in resolving that incident? May I ask a few questions, please? I'd like your account of the events. Whoa, whoa, okay, slow down. What are we talking about here? You might be mixing me up. We booked it back to Edith after you saw us, so I don't think we had any part of it in that. I have reports that you were at the scene. Don't play dumb, please. We've also heard that you traveled to Cray Village shortly before they had attacked there. 
There's something about you, something that makes these incidents pop up wherever you go. There's got to be a correlation. Yeah, no, we weren't even there. And she's nosy. How the hell does she know? Oh shit, is that Dingo over there? Wait, re hey, you're not getting me with that again. You're trying to throw me off the scent, just like with that Maxim scoop. No, seriously, I swear that's him. And who's that lady hugging his arm? Are you actually serious? Oh, wait. Oh, sly dog. Didn't think he had it in him. And that's a pretty snazzy hotel they're walking into. What's the scoop there, I wonder? Just wait a second. I'm not sure why you're hounding me. Shouldn't you be looking into Dingo? I know, I know. I need your help with them. You specialize in investigations, right? You're all like sneaky and stealthy and stuff. Well, no, I ain't a detective. Why would I just tail a guy like that? Mm. Fine, I can stalk him. Two different brands of smart asses there. So yeah, it should be fun. Mm -hmm. What are they saying? I can barely hear them. Hence why I said we should get a bit closer. Well, then he'd spot us for sure. From my sneaky and stealthy experience. No, I don't think I think we'd be fine. Sorry for keeping you like that. Oh, not a problem. I'm glad we were able to talk like this out some more. I'll be back, you know. Huh? What the heck were they talking about? They weren't breaking up, were they? That's not the vibe I got. Uh. What? How long have you two been there? D Dingo? Um, well, told you. He knew from the start. Dingo, who was that woman just now? Is she your, you know, um, no. She's a colleague, Marielle. She's on the selection committee for an award body. Award body? Oh, don't tell me. Somebody got himself a Fulitzer, huh? Well, not quite, but yes. They've been bugging me about it for a while. Wait, the Fulitzer? You're in the running for the highest journalistic award in the land and you didn't tell anybody? What for? What are you being so secretive about? Ah, uh, my stupid phone. Who could be the editor in chief now? Hello? Okay. Yes. Right. I get that. But, sir, please. I. Okay, okay. All right. I'll be there in a bit. Ouch. I tell you to stop wandering around and start doing your job. Of all the stinking times. I'm holding you to this, Dingo. You better fess up next time. Looks like you got your hands full these days. She's eccentric. I'll leave it at that. Damn, nice job on the fault, or Nod. I had no idea they were reaching out to you about that. Though, now that I think about it, I guess you were kind of a shoe-in. You were on the ground for the war, if I recall. Yep, I remember running into you once or twice. You were on the Mirage side, but you still lent us a hand from time to time. I had comms with all the Calver Calvert's media outlets at the time. The Royal Guardian, the Tyrell Times, you name it. I even branched out with some international outlets. I was chasing the truth behind it all. Everything else be damned. I put a lot of stuff together from a bunch of different sources. So I guess they wanted to recognize that. Heard you were up on the front lines when they were fight when the fighting broke out, snapping photos of the battle. The reality of war, those outlets called it. You were anonymous at the time, but I had a feeling it was you. Blew everyone away. That's the thing. It wasn't just me. I can't accept that award in good faith if it means putting down everyone else. I'd hope they'd just leave me be if I kept running long enough, but nope. Here they are in Edith. I get that, but come on, don't sell yourself short. You risk your life out there to get those photos. 
somebody's got to be recognized for that and it might as well be you plus you accept that award and it gives you a platform you can thank them all you want once your articles start selling like hotcakes nah still doesn't feel right and i don't think i'd be that big no old dingo brad is still a too big gossip rag reporter that's all i'm ever gonna be and all i ever want to be i mean sure i guess it's your life and all you let the whole the hillist bit slip a little when you watch over the new the new girl though just a heads up that's rich coming from you you act all tough but you ferry all your part-timers around like some kind of mother hen big old softy but well i guess you got a point there's nothing wrong with training her up as an apprentice no need to give it a cool spin to justify it nothing wrong with doing it doing you just as long as we don't make fools of ourselves in the front of the youngins <laughs> but you're on the right side of 25 and you are a youngin but yeah we gotta keep moving forward you know Always room for improvement. Imagine for being us role models. in consideration for a Nobel Prize and be like, nah, I'm good. The blind lady killer. Away now. Twenty five is forty in anime years. Albion. Cat Cassius is a ghost. Oh, okay, there it is. La, 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 la. I can handle any maintenance. Da, 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 Plugins. Yes. Yes. Well worth it. Well worth it. I'm ready to help whatever you need. Need help with something? Uh plugin. Modify Orbit. Derp. Yeah, I, I, I've seen the spell slots. I'm like, yes. Yes. <sighs> so I want this, and I want this, and I want 
this. I don't want this. I'm ready to help whatever you need. Yeah, uh, perfect. We're curious. Then let's head over. contacted the backup members and explained the situation. Before long, everyone was gathered in front of the garage and ready to go. So, the Memorial Park is a place people from the capital go to relax? That's right. Whole families sometimes go there for picnics, for example. It's also popular for couples to going on dates since it's split into multiple areas, each with their own natural charms. That sounds like the perfect place to do some combat drills. Small fry here never changes. It's within walking distance if you really want to go that way, but most people just head there by car or by bus. It's about 30 minutes from here in the car. Kind of a trek, but I guess we've got no choice. Let's see what this pickup of yours is like to ride. Oh, that's right. This will be your first time in Van's car. You better not get her dirty, punk ass. A little late for that. Poor thing probably stinks of old man musk after years of carrying you around. <laughs> I'm gonna murder you someday, you little shit. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Wait, this number belongs to... Hello? Yes, I'm glad you called, actually. I'm afraid I might be back a little late today, you see. What? From my family? But I'm about to... Well, I'm not going to force you to come back. It's all up to you. Message received. I'm on my way. Yes, of course. Goodbye for now, then. I'm so sorry. Something important's come up that I really need to take care of. Don't sweat it. Go do whatever you gotta do. The rest of us can handle a few stray critters. I'm sure you can, but please be careful. Again, my apologies. I'll make my way back to the office as soon as I'm done. Better be a good reason, Ran. She's my healer. <laughs> well, what was that all about? Anya's don't usually lose her composure like that. Just let her do her thing. We'll get our job done and be back here by this evening. I thought that was going to pan up to someone stood on the rooftop. It's such a shame Anya's got called away. I was really hoping this would be our first for Spriggan as a team of four. If school or in this case family comes knocking, 
There ain't much you can do about it. Call-outs come with the territory of part-time jobs. Hmm. You know, there's something fishy with that girl. And I don't mean the Genesis stuff. What are you talking about? I think her whole backstory might be made up. Epstein's like mega famous. Dude invented the Orbman. Is she really related to a big shot like him? Also, her last name, Claudel, is totally made up. What? You really think so? Man, you really are sharp. I don't think she pulled the name out of a hat, though. Every time she introduces herself, she seems proud, but also a little guilty. So I'm thinking it's her mother's maiden name or something. Huh? You saw right through her too, huh? Anyway, there's no reason to use a fake name unless the real one's worth hiding. If I had to bet, I'd say it's actually... Oh, wait just a minute. I'm just having trouble. I'm having trouble keeping up here. What if Anius is keeping the secret from us? She must have a reason. I don't think we should be prying. Come on, small fry. I know deep down you want to find out too. You want to understand why she'd hide stuff from the people she claims as her friends. Well, I... Uh, maybe people call a new prodigy of Longport was just a fluke. Someone with the rep would know better than to gossip about a teenager when they ain't even around. Everyone's got a secret or two they don't want to share, even with folks they call their friends. Leaving home must have turned you into a real smile-minded man if you can't understand that. <sighs> All right, all right. I was being a bit childish. In the end, she's just another teenage girl, so I guess it doesn't really matter who she is or where she's from. But if she's supposed to be watching my back in battle, I ain't... I, I at least want to know how serious she is about all this. I suspect the answer is more... is... to that is more than any of us. Yeah, I'm with you there. She doesn't know diddly about combat compared to the rest of us, yet she still chooses to fight alongside us. In this short time, she's already faced a lifetime's worth of danger because of it, too. Hmm. Say, this rod of yours isn't half bad at all. But can't this tin can go any faster? I'm not getting any younger here. Cut the crap or I'm leaving you on the side of the road. I love their banter. <laughs> Dirk Memorial Park. Hmm. The air is so fresh out here. Huh. Never would have figured they've gotten green patches like this right next to the Capitol. Looks empty though. Where's all the people? Seems like they've had the place closed off since yesterday due to the whole monster problem. Otherwise, there'd be a pile of buses and people right in front of us. Hey, you're right. It really is closed. They should know we're coming. Let's have a chat with the ranger. Freaking, of all the days to close the park, they had to do it today. Shouldn't any buses out here too. We had no other way of getting back to town. Big day just ruined. Now that's a shame, brother. Hate to see a lovely couple's parade get, get rained on so hard. Tell you what, why don't I introduce you cool cats to a groovy restaurant on the way back to town? We can still save this date. You in? For real? Sure, we'd love to, by all means. He, he's, he's classy. He's classy. One up for the taxi driver. Did you folks just drive up? I hate to break it to you, but we're closed for today. Actually, we're here on business. Van explained that they came in response to the park's request. Oh, so you're the ones who are coming in to help, huh? Yeah, they told me to expect you. Sounds like you guys have a really nasty monster on your hands. Yeah, it happens from time to time, unfortunately. The environment attracts them. Usually the bracers send out a big squad when this sort of thing happens. 
Are you three going to be okay going in alone? Yeah, we'll be fine. Nothing we haven't seen before. Mind opening the gate for us so we can get to work? Of course. Go right in. Thanks for taking care of this for us. Hope he keeps coming back in Daybreak 2, hopefully. Let's see. That, what? Why is he inside the gate sweeping when there's monsters supposedly in here? The gate was shut off. He should have been outside. Going by our information, the monster should be somewhere along this path. Let's try and get this thing cleared out before sunset so we can head back while there's still light out. Say if we do a good job here, think you could treat us to some place nice in the entertainment district? Yeah, right. In your dreams, kid. Is that statue who I think it is? Nothing harder than not being able to watch the streams because I want to play this. Valeris. You do you. There was always going to be VODs. Every morning I wake up at 5 a.m. and start sweeping my grass, right? He, he, he's, 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 he's actually a witch, you know, just don't want to, just don't want to do it. Just don't want to say anything. Yep. Sheena Dirk, Calvar's most famous revolutionary, the mother of Calvardian democracy in the stone. Yep. They opened this park and nature preserve in her memory after she died. When the revolution started, she was all of 20 years old, give or take. Still just a student. She brought together a pretty colorful band of folk to make all the, it all happen. Even had to take on the Erebonian army when it intervened. Yeah, that's a hell of a lot to put on your plate. Girl must have had some real spunk to pull all that off. Totally. Her statue is beautiful. so beautiful. She looks so dignified. I remember Abi mentioning how he saw a statue of the Lance Maiden when he went to the Empire a long time ago and what's the matter um nothing it's just there's something about her that looks fami familiar to me what are you actually hang on I get the same feeling too weirdly enough I'm not sure why this doesn't really resemble any of the Western chicks I picked up back in Longport. Picked up? Like, off the ground? Oh, you poor, poor innocent soul, you. You don't even know what that means? This is why little kids are always so hard to talk to. Gotta explain every tiny thing to them. Mm. She's, uh... Okay, so since we just talked about the whole Agnes, the Claudel thing, this is pro Agnes is probably her descendant. Why do these two insist they recognize her? Sure, you're bound to run into her in textbooks, but other than that... I don't get it. Why would you pick up women? Do they need to be carried for some reason? Nope, forget I said anything. Enough, you two. We're here on business, so let's get down to it. Ari and Rose's secret third identity? Oh, Lord. I'm guessing we're going to come back here. Oh, yeah, we're de we definitely got to come back here. Oh, get a load of this view. This is the perfect place for us to train. It's all you ever think about, isn't it? <sighs> Not that I disagree. View's nice. This area is better maintained, but don't get comp complacent. One wrong step and you'll take a dive straight into the lake, so watch out. Come on. What do you take me for, huh? You sure know a lot about this place, though. What gives? Oh, I get it. Must be because it's the perfect place for an old fart like you to go on walks. 
I'm not much older than you, damn it. You want to know why? I used to come here with Elaine when we were students. Really now? With Beauty's Blade herself, huh? Granted, it does seem like a pretty obvious date spot. And what kind of, what kind of spot? Wait. Wait. Are you saying Van and Elaine used to... Uh, can we not have this conversation? Forget my love life and look over there. And those lo look looks worse than I was expecting. Is it uh always this bad? Not normally, no. Usually they're on top of their pest control here because of all the visitors. It smells like a case of our target calling them over here and infesting the place. And we should smack them around. Guess we could save the reminiscing about your schoolboy days from when we see Beauty's Blade again. <sighs> Never should have said anything. Come on, you two. Let's get to work already. We know from Cole Steele that she traveled Zemiria solo for like 200 something years. It's true. Yeah, it, it, it is a bit interesting, though. Looks like some good loot. You can charge three. Nice. Spot. Yeah, we want to know more about Elaine. It's Elaine that they've been thinking about the statue, which is why Van doesn't see it, since his connection to her is a bit odd. That could be too, yeah. <laughs> nice. That went great. Nice. <laughs> Look out! The uh, sneaky little rodent. We've got to keep an eye out for ambushes. And be more careful next time. Take this. Don't order me around, you damn brat. Well, we're off to a good start. Makes me happy that these new uh, these are new games that I'm having similar theories, but don't know the answers yet. We love theorizing stuff. Theorizing is great. I'm hitting R2, damn it. Theory, uh, that's a good theory, Dan. I, I'm liking that the West is almost caught up. Pretty sprightly for an old guy. It was too convenient for Anya to not be there. That's that's why my my eyes my theory went to Anya and not not the other way around. Great. 
Was rough. Leaning toward Anya's as well, but I can understand people think it's too convenient that she isn't there. I'm just getting warmed up. Disagree with Zelene? I guess we're gonna play Trails and find out. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna play Trails. We're gonna find out. Exclamation point play. That's exactly what we're doing. Let's get to work. Gotcha. It's done. It's done. This will hurt. Now you will fart. I'll dice you up. Nice. Nice. That went great. Pretty sprightly for an old guy. What do we have here? Let's get to work. make a lot of progress in trails tonight also <laughs> me it won't get. hurt if i take a break and watch <laughs> jeff for three hours hurt. you didn't finish your chapter did you <laughs> thought i missed the chapter two finale last night but how did you like all the tight uh the the tycoon stuff reveal with stuff for aaron i i thought it was interesting i should have seen it coming i see me from nobody Get to work. I'll take you on. 
Um, but there was the, the the one reveal was there is one reveal that that at the end of that chapter that uh really caught me off guard. Make it count, Aaron. Finish the chapter like right before you started, but no progress since. Nice. <laughs> Ayuden or Daybreak first? Obviously, I'm gonna say Daybreak. And then Ayuden. Time to go all out. <laughs> Take that, have some more. Perfect chance. Life is giant, small friend. Target locked. You're trapped. What's Ayudin? Ayudin Chronicle, 100 Heroes. It's the, it's the spiritual successor to Spakoden. Don't screw with me! Very, very nice game. I, I loved it. Dreams hold demon ogres and inside thing, but it's all uh, tightly paced in the one chapter. The writing is really uh, tight in chapter two. Yeah, exactly. I thought it, uh, so far I've enjoyed both chapters. Known as the little brother, together with the big brother to the west, they compromise the park's twins falls. Purdy. Looks like some good loot. Cobalt ring. Let's get to work. <laughs> Let's finish the job. 
This'll hurt. Now you will fart. I'll dice you up. Hit him fast, Barry. Target locked. You're trapped. Aaron. Make it count, Aaron. Now you will fart. Gotcha. Hit him fast, Barry. Like hell you Lucky are. Lucky sevens. Get out of here. <laughs> nice. Let's go. This will hurt. Now you will march. I'll dice you up. They're stunned. Make it count, Aaron. <laughs> Have some more. Rise and shine, small fry. Have some more. That shared skill is helping me out hey, greatly. That one felt pretty good. You did perfect, fairy. Ooh, a treasure chest. Ooh, seventh. It is very nice to have. Ooh, one over here I need to get. Let's get to work. Gotcha. This'll hurt. Now you will fart. I'll dice you up. Make it count, Aaron. Have some more. Sky system done right rewards physical and magical characters alike and doesn't uh, clutter arts menus with unnecessary spells. I don't mind the unnecessary spells. Although in in Sky I was like, yeah, I'll just use like. Hit him fast, Barry. I'll, ju I'll just use like two. Have some more. Sucker. White Gehenna was was one of my favorites. A chance. You're open. A chance. A chance. Sucker. Although, I think it's Soul Blur. <laughs> was um was highly effective in a lot of the uh Ooh, a, treasure chest. a lot of the sky games only because with soul blur the the cost the ep cost per damage ratio was actually better for that particular art Halfway there. Tired already? <laughs> You're so pathetic. Is this the guy who let the little monster get the drop on it? <sighs> you want to go, Pipsqueak? Yeah, let's yeah. go. <laughs> Adio, save me. <laughs> oh, the banter. I love it. things you get the same screen as the orb menu spooners we have to burn them with fire Got you. 
<laughs> we burned and blinded it. And killed it. <laughs> hey, that one felt pretty good. You got some moves, small fry. Cardboard was here, he'd be like, no burn spooter. Huh? Looks like a chest. Let's get to work. Known as the big brother, much taller than the little brother to the east. Together they compromise the twin falls. Oh yeah, he's he's a big one. The water effect in this game is fantastic too, by the way. This'll hurt. big waterfall Halford sure has a lot of water huh I guess probably more than what you've got back home Things way too easier. Hey, that one felt pretty good. You've got some moves, small fry. Oh, shit. Later, take this. Arusha and the flames. You did perfect there. Gotcha. 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 Gotc
I ever forget you can just back into action mode going in full commitment, better or worse. Like, yeah, I, I want I want more action. I want to get the advantage. Don't roar at me. His movement is horrible. Here's some extra. Rise and shine, small fry. Sucker. A chance. You're out there. Make it count, Aaron. <laughs> Couldn't take Ooh, your eyes off me, right? You're on fire. place to take a girl out on a rendezvous boat ride huh that's a fun idea are you two for real you're getting along now 